Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. It's Jimmy from Chicago. I am up very early because it is a very special day. And I was a good boy last night. It was a school night, and I went to bed early. So when I got up this morning, somebody had sent me a link to an email of me singing the National Anthem back in 1984 at the NLCS championship game, the first time the Cubs had been in a playoff in a long time. And I had been asked to replace Steve Goodman, who had just passed away, and sing the National Anthem. Now, we were very, very close friends, and Steve was the reason that I became a Cubs fan. Because way back when, when I would come to Chicago and play, there were no lights at Wrigley Field, so we would go and buy a ticket in the bleachers and go watch the game before we had to go to work at night. The bleachers were always special to me, and the first time I played it 11 years ago, we ended the show there. Who knows, we may do it again tonight. But anyway, I just wanted to tell a little story that uh, precedes the actual singing of the song because, of course, I was uh, filled with grief at the loss of my friend, but also, we as performers also cling to that lifelong uh, idea that the show has to go on. So I went to Chicago at the invitation of some friends of mine who work for the Cubs and checked into my hotel. I was a good boy again that night because I had to get up early and sing the anthem. Now, the anthem is not an easy song to sing. First trick is, if you ever have to do it, is start low. Because there's a high part at the end that you really want to hit. Or else you'll wind up in one of those blooper videos of people who mess up the national anthem. So, <laughs> I didn't want to be on one of those videos. Next thing you do is make sure you know the words. Now everybody thinks they know the words of the anthem when you're like in the stands singing along with 37,000 people. But when you're down on the field singing to 37,000 people, you don't want to mess up again. So the easiest thing to me to do is do the process of which you learn the lyrics to a song. Repeat, repeat, repeat. So for the day before, I just sang the national anthem pretty much most of the time I was there. You know under my breath or in my mind, like, oh, shit, can you see what the don't do? Are the sky we need here? It's the twilight last week. You just kind of keep over, over and over again repeating, which I did all day and most of the night, right up to the time I went to bed. When I got up in the morning to take a shower to get ready to go, it was early. I got in the shower because I knew the noise of the shower would probably be enough to uh, suppress the fact that I was going for it in the shower. I was going at the volume that I would use when I went to uh, Wrigley Field to sing it. So I sang it probably three times at full volume, got out of the shower, got dressed, opened the door to go down to have breakfast, and a startled looking man poked his head out. I don't think he'd been up long, or maybe he'd been up listening to this anthem. Anyway, the look on his face indicated to me that he thought, what kind of wacko, super patriot, idiot do I have in the room next to me who sings the national anthem all day and when he gets up in the morning. <laughs> and to try to calm his fears, I went, no, no, I'm doing the anthem at the baseball game today. He went back in his room. I went and got my breakfast, went to the stadium, dedicated the national anthem to my friend Steve Goodman and sang it at the game. I believe the Cubs won that game, but not too many after that. And it is a great thrill to just be back doing a show in Wrigley Field. But let's add to that that the Chicago Cubs are the champions of the world this year. Unfortunately, I couldn't make any of the games or any of the plays after which I had been invited to because we were on tour in Japan, where I watched everything in a little Cubs bar in Tokyo with a lot of diehard Japanese fans and some expats. Today is my day in Wrigley Field. So I just wanted to run this national anthem that I dedicated to Steve back in 84, and I know he's up there somewhere smiling down, and ends up Chicago and Cubs fans. See you at the ballpark. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Margarita singer, Jimmy Buffett, passed away, and since his death, followers and die hands are still pouring their tribute on social media to his family that he left behind. Buffett 
died on September 1st following a four-year battle with a rare sickness. The singer was loved by many and had a very big fan base. His wife, Luna Salgavo, also penned up a heartbreaking tribute to the fans and the friends of Jimmy Buffett that have been there for the family. He had a very inspiring message to the people and all the fan base, more especially the proud heads, and he thanked them for their support, which they have depicted following his death. He had this to say, as Jimmy said a few months ago, growing up old is non CC. These last few years have been imaginable challenging for Jimmy and me, and you are definitely not as we think we would be. That's the message that he wrote on the official website of the Proud Heads. One thing we both knew and experienced through every difficult moment was the feeling of being buried and being loved by many people wherever we went with my husband. He was saying, she was saying that many people have loved them and whenever the husband Buffett uh, put their uh, shows, very many people appeared and went to see him in large number. Every year we went at arenas, at events, and even the hospitals, we were surrounded by love. There is a whole world of people I want to thank for the incredible kindness you showed us since those early days and all through the decades. Jimmy was loved by many and is remembered as a man of courage, as a man of intelligence who has had an outstanding career and legacy in the music industry because of his ability to write and sing in different tones. As for us on this channel, we also send our condolences to his family that he left behind, more especially the wife who has come up to show his gratitude and happiness by thanking all those who have been there for the family and also wishing the courage and strength to the family in this trying moment they are going through. Rest in peace, our legendary musician, Jimmy Buffett. May God forgive you your trespasses and also give your family strength and courage for the pain.